I mean, boom. Good. We will have to shorten that up. Do you see how many times? <laughs> exact match. Probably still. Let me see. I want, I want the one that specifically Joe 23 verse 2. Find that sucker. Okay. Was Joe 23? Joe. Twenty three one? I ain't give no intro. I'm just doing okay. But anyway, I'm <laughs> in my zone, right? I'm just doing these Hebrew definitions. But anyway, <laughs> I'm looking for hand <laughs> in Hebrew right now. So this is in Job twenty three two. This is the one I was reading when I was like, I wonder what hand means right here <clears throat> in Hebrew. So this is what it's saying. I'm going to just start at verse one. I might as well. Might as well. Okay. So it says, then Job answered today. Also, my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy despite my groaning. And the word hand is what I wanted to see. So what we got for this one? God. I'm familiar with that. Probably the most popular uh, Hebrew word that goes, well, that can mean hand, but I'm not sure. So let me see what all did we find over here. Um, can I scroll up? What's wrong with you? It's acting up. Now it's working. It's good. Okay. God must be down. There it is. I see it. Okay. The most popular. Well, I don't know. Oh, it only says that the KJV translation count for this word is 17. It's translated as hand and power. Oh, this is the Aramaic word. Oh. So it's probably... So this one occurs in Daniel and Ezra. So which one did I see? Let me hit the left. It could have been this one, 30, 27. Wow. This one is translated as hand, him, consecrate, coast, the, places, and more. Um, wow, it's a lot of definitions. So far, I don't think I've seen more definitions in the Strong's Dictionary for one word. Out of all the words I've looked up so far since I started my goal to define a Hebrew word a day uh, publicly, this is the most, I think, that I've seen. But I'm going to just read some of them. Excuse me, so it says for the Strong's definitions for Yod 3027, the Hebrew word, it says it can mean a hand. Um... Got all this crap in here used in a great variety of applications, both literally and figuratively, both proximate and remote. Able about arm holes at axle tree because of beside border bounty board handed by um, well, just by itself. Wow. Uh, charge, coast, concentrate. Really? Okay. Creditor. Um, and a whole lot more. Pain. It can even mean pain. Okay. Uh, near ministry. Presumptuously. Strength. Stroke. Oh, wait. No. Draw with strength. Um, sore and more. I mean, a lot. Okay. I don't even think I want to look up anymore. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> 3709. 
Okay, this one is what is this one? This one is cop. Cop. Okay. Um, maybe I should put the A on there. I thought I thought I was pronouncing it with an A sound, but cap. Let me say cap. Because I but anyway. Um this one is translated as hand, spoon, soul, palm. When I saw palm, I'm like, I gotta read it. Um, and it says hollow, handful, a piece, and more. Wow, clouds? Really? Wow, okay. Um, I did not expect that. Strong's definition say that this word can mean the hollow hand or palm, um, whether it's of a paw. Of, of an animal. It says also it can mean of the soul and even of the bowl of a dish or sling, the handling of a boat, the leaves of a palm tree. And it says figuratively, power, branch, foot, hand, hollow, middle, palm, paw, power, soul, and spoon. Interesting. Looking through these other ones real quick to see. Wow, wait, I gotta see this one. I think I looked at this one before too. This one's 3225. <sighs> okay. Oh, I see what they did. I see what they did. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, I can go with that. So, the way they pronouncing it, uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. Because I see what they did. Yamin, <laughs> they made it simple. I, I like it. So, um, this one is translated as hand, left-handed, south, right, and side. Meanings are probably similar. It says the right hand or side, um, whether it's the leg or eye of a person uh, or other object. And then it says, as the stronger or more dexterous, locally, the South. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that was for a hand. What else do I want to get? Matter of fact, before I even finish, I want to go back to Job and read this. Read that verse again now. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. So Job says in verse 2, Today also my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy despite my groaning. Hmm. Since there's so many meanings for hand, I wonder which one is he using. Could be power, could be strength. Um, so many. Let me just substitute it to see what it would sound like if I say strength. His strength is heavy despite my groaning. His power is heavy despite my groaning. His. Mm, it's all good. What else we got? What else do we got? Against. Okay. Bird occurs a lot. Okay. Whew. I'm to shorten this up. Field 19? Really? Okay. It's a lot. So I can't read them all because it's 19 results. I just wanted to pick a few. Um, I'll try this one, Mara. <clears throat> okay, so Mara, 4784. Hmm. This one is translated as rebellious, disobeyed, grievous, provoke, disobedient, against, rebels, provocation, bitter, rebel, and charged. Um, 
wrong, wrong definitions. Says some of the same stuff. Says to rebel, to be bitter <laughs> or unpleasant. Okay, well, that looks simple. <laughs> Let me see how they use it. Ah, oh, see. Numbers 20, 24. Aaron shall be gathered to his people, for he shall not enter into the land which I had <clears throat> given to the children of Israel, because you rebelled against Mara, my word, at the water of Meribah. That makes sense. Okay. Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. Or directly or on over. Oh, yeah, I like that one too. But I'm looking for the against that's like an adversary or something. Ooh, beyond? Say word. I gotta see this. Come on, come on, bring it, bring it on now, bring it on. Okay, so we got 5921. Hmm. Hmm. I'll and this one is translated as by, over, on, in, upon, for, both, beyond, through, throughout, against, beside, and war. Um ooh, a lot of a lot of definitions. It says the same as 5920 used as a Preposition in the singular or plural, above, over, upon, or against, yet always in the last relation with a downward aspect, in a great variety of applications, it can mean after, against, among, okay. Oh, um, yeah. This is it can mean touching and so yeah, I like that one, but I don't, I don't know. That one is the same. Yeah, I think. Okay, so this one is um sixty four forty. Do I got another word to do? I showed it. <laughs> okay, this one is sixty four forty. Um. I think the way they pronounce it is cool because I see what I see uh, the I in there. So they say it's pronounced Panem. And I agree with that. Panem, it can be pronounced that way. Um, make it simple and easy. And it says that these, well, this word was translated as presence, person, upon, toward, open, from, face, because sight of me, countenance, against, before, him, and more. Oof, That's a lot of definitions. Like some of them are you, me. Is it ye, you? But anyway. Um, <laughs> it says through, till, time pass, showbread, sight, serve, right, forth, regard, street. Wow, street? Okay. Upon, upside, straight, state, <clears throat> open, on. It can mean a lot. It can even mean it can even mean uh, me, uh, meat, more than mouth. It can mean your mouth. Okay. Interesting. I think it. I think it means too much. Like it. It means all this. Yeah? Interesting. Hebrew words are different. <laughs> Straight up. I don't think we have a word in English that means 
all this. Jeez. Um, it can also mean edge, countenance, beseech, employ, anger, against, battle, at, face, favor, inquire. And that ain't even all. That's a lot. I ain't even gonna look up no more in this one. We're gonna go to friends, I think. I know one word for friends, which might mean it might be something with the word rye in Hebrew, but I'm not sure. What we got? We got two, and I don't see the one that I was thinking. Let me see if it's, it's still not here. Wow. Maybe I should have just put friend instead of friends. But this will work. So we got 441. It says it can be pronounced. Hmm. I'm a little so. I'm so sleepy. I might as well cheat. I'm going to just use their pronunciation <laughs> and keep it moving. So they say it's pronounced a lup. Oh, that is perfect, too. A lup. Yeah, perfect. Okay, they're doing a good job on these pronunciations uh, so far. Tonight, sometimes they be off a little bit. But anyway, um, the King James translation count is 69 times for this word. They translate it as Duke, Ox, Governor. Captains, guide, friends, um, Strong's definition says familiar, a friend, also gentle, and more. Okay. So what's the other one? Uh, the other one is 4962, math, or you can say Matt. This one can mean men, was translated as men, friends, a few, number, persons, small, and width. Definitions in the Strong's is properly an adult, by implication, a man, few, friends, men, persons, and small. That is not what I was expecting. I'm thinking, let me try friend. Let me see if I find it. Is there anything? Oh, yeah, it's more results now if I do that. Do we got, there it is. We got right now. Yeah, that's the one I'm familiar with. Raya and Rye. These two at the bottom. So, um, Rye is translated as neighbor, other, brother, companion, fellow, and more, even husband. Dang, I didn't know that. And friend. Um, it's more than that, though. And it says, strong definitions. It says an associate, brother, companion, fellow, friend, husband, lover, neighbor. Interesting. I like these definitions. One beloved, a lover. Cool. Sleepy. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I just had to get some more definitions in. You know, it was the perfect time. It was the perfect time. So I'm like, Shh. you know what? Wait, I'm going to knock these out. Say.